Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, May 4, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we are down quite a bit, in the over 3% to do the downside, and mainly probably due to the fact that the Tesla fell uh, roughly 3-4% down today. So... Um, at this current stage, it looks like we are going to target the 200 moving average down here at the 113. If that breaks, then this could basically fall apart all the way down to 94. But the 200 moving average has been very supportive in the past. So we can see it here. We got close to it and then bounced. Same here. We didn't uh, nearly here. And now it looks like we're going to test it yet again. So... Uh, at this current stage, we are fairly overstretched here in the Bollinger Band. This is a really nasty uh, bearish candlestick. So we could see this fall even further towards the 200 moving average before rallying. If we look at other technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the RSI is bearish, CCI is bearish, and also the stochastic is bearish. So momentum is definitely to the downside according to these indicators. So let's look at DVI. So DVI did rally really nicely and then uh, gave most of those gains back. So we're up uh, more than 1% at this current stage. Technical indicators are all very bullish. MACD is crossing the signal line, RSI is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and so is the stochastic. We're getting very overstretched here. So a pullback at this at this point is should not be um, surprising and we could fall back towards support and that's roughly a fall of 1% or towards a uh, 20 exponential moving average that's a fall of 2.24 percent so we are getting really overstretched here and we're also on the edge of being overbought so let's look at vti so vti is up uh, just a little bit at this current stage uh, technical indicators are uh, either flat like an rsi or very bullish like that no, not very bullish like the macd it is bearish at this current stage it just crossed the signal line RSI is uh, flat, the CCI is um, heading towards a, a zero and becoming bearish, and the stochastic is bearish. So momentum is definitely the downside at this current stage in the daily chart. Uh, if you look at uh, the Bollinger Band, we are basically right in the middle, of the middle of the Bollinger Band and the top, and it is fairly a big gamble just to enter this market at this current stage. Uh, so best would be at the top or at the bottom or probably find the support in the middle of the bullish band. So let's look at MCHI. And as well here, it basically continues to fall. It has a, it fell on Thursday, on Friday, and yet again, it rallied up towards the 20, that acted as a resistant, and then it gave all of those gains away. So if you look at technical indicators, they are becoming very bearish. The MACD is still in negative territory, but it's still rounding off here and it's going to cross the signal if this continues, indicating bearish momentum. The RSI is bearish, the CCI is bearish, and so is the stochastic. We have basically found support in the middle of the bullish band, and now it looks like we're heading towards the bottom, and that is down here at 8080. Uh, if we drop lower than that, we could find support again down here at 7916, which is also the previous lows here. But 200 moving average has offered massive support. And as long as that holding, then we basically could bounce off the 200 moving average. So IVV. So as you can see, we're up just barely um, uh, today. And uh, well, it is fairly mixed. MACD, for example, is bearish. The RSI is bearish. The CCI is uh, just left. Uh, we're at 91 at the moment and uh, above 100 is very bullish, so we're just under that. So you can see the stochastic has turned around here and it's, it's technically becoming bullish. So these technical indicators are not really helpful at this current stage because they are basically showing different things and that is not what, what um, you should look for. So we're also right in the middle here uh, between the middle of the bullish band and top of the bullish band and uh, therefore this is probably something that you should just stay far away from. Or if you've just found it has been bouncing off the middle of the bullish band and at this current stage we technically need a pullback in order to buy into this market so 20 exponential 40 and the 50 have all offered major support in the past as you can see here 
and here and we can go all the way back towards November last year when we continue this channel to the upside and at this point pullback could be expected for this ETF. So hope you find this helpful. You're going to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button and follow on this new videos and good luck and thank you very much. Thank you.